So many of my clients ask, Tyler, how do you balance your family life while still crushing it in the business? And it comes down to changing, not habits, but your identity, how you think, how you feel, and how you act. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you a creed that I live by that'll help you start to take on a new identity so that you can become unstoppable. I'm Tyler Watson, the founder of Elite Performance Coaching, and uh, welcome to my channel. Go ahead, check out this creed because it will completely change how you live your life. We have, and we, we do this on all our shirts. So uh, we have this phrase here, which is basically our, our motto, what we live by, the thing that we love. And uh, here's, here's what it is. So we're gonna repeat this every morning together, okay? It should be in your workbook. Um, this I created a couple years back and it was something like, I was just thinking, who do I really wanna be? Like what defines being unstoppable? Because to say that there's no limit seems kind of nebulous. It's almost like, is that even possible, right? And then we have this doubt and this uncertainty. Yet, when I set goals, I nail them in days and weeks instead of months or years. I live with no regrets as every decision I make turns into pure gold. I don't wait to find a passion. I live my life passionately and I lead by example and confront everything, not just some things, but everything I fear or avoid. We've already talked about that, right? Do what you avoid, lean into that resistance. I banish shame, blame, and guilt and take full responsibility for my results. I am empowered to do whatever it takes while keeping that which is most sacred to me. I am a warrior and I fight for my cause. I am unstoppable. Isn't that beautiful? Like imagine if we all take this on every single day and this becomes your identity. What if you no longer had to give in to fear or avoidance? What if you truly valued the thing that was sacred to you? Because how many have heard or been in something where you're like, do whatever it takes. And then you're like, like after you do whatever it takes, you're like on the floor, barely breathing, right? It's kind of like me running a Spartan without preparing very much. I'm like do whatever it takes. And I'm like, who signed up for this thing? Like that was a bad idea. <laughs> like I should have prepped more. So it's kind of like that where we're like, yeah, you got this business thing, do whatever it takes. And then you look back, you've sacrificed your family, your beliefs, your time. And you look back and ask yourself, was it really worth it? You know, but being unstoppable, you do work hard, but we want to work smarter. We want to work with our whole body without fighting itself. And to get your body to do stuff, I'm going to invite you to do it. It's weird. It's odd. And that's okay because that energy do what you resist. It's like yesterday when I was doing my Spartan, it was, it was fascinating. I, I could see certain people and certain people were like, dominating you know they're like yeah this is my third one this weekend i'm like whoa you're crazy right and i was like wow i could do that too i can do that too that was my phrase i kept taking on i was like i can do that too and it was fascinating there was a time where we were doing these bucket carries and it's like a hundred pounds and it's about three quarters of the way in so you're already super tired and i got this huge bucket that you're carrying in and you're going up this mountain with this bucket People are dropping it. They're like having to stop and they're huffing and puffing. And I just put this bucket on and I just start thinking about uh, like one thing, which is how beautiful the grass is. Cause that's all I see. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, this is beautiful grass. And I just step, step, step. And I had this desire when I got to the top, I was like, I could, I could put it down and take a break right now. And my thought was lean into the resistance. And I was like, okay. Oh man, I just want to like slow down. So I thought, well, I'm going downhill. So what if I just ran downhill with this hundred pounds? Cause everybody's like barely moving downhill, you know, so they don't fall. I was just like, well, I'm going to do what I resist. 
So I literally just started like to sprint down the hill with this hundred pound thing on my back, passing everybody. And then like got to the end and I was like, that was actually way easier when I did what was harder. It seemed that the easy way would preserve energy, but because I actually sped up, put my energy into it faster, it became easier. And in fact, I went through that so quick that I was like, wow, that was, and out of everybody I talked to, that was the hardest thing that they had to do. I was like, that was one of the easier ones for me. I struggled on some other ones. Like I couldn't climb the rope and some other things. I just slipped down and everything. But for me, when it was, when things get hard, lean in. What do you do when things get hard? Lean in. When someone shares a win, the phrase is, that's easy, I can do that too. I saw all these people just yesterday, all these girls, all these old people, like doing all these obstacles. And then especially when I couldn't do it, I was like, oh my goodness, like, how are these people doing this? And they're, they're like heavier than me. And I'm like, there's no way that they're physic like, this doesn't make sense to my logical brain. I should be able to do this obstacle. And then I try it and I slip off and I'm like, what is wrong? And I started to have the negative talk, the negative talk. And as soon as I, I attempted it twice, fell off, fell off. And I had this negative talk. And my thought was, wait, the game, the to actually win a game. So this is what I teach my athletes. It happens before, during, and especially after especially after. So when you go and you do something, there's a pregame, which you have to prep for your mindset, getting yourself into that space during it, right? So you're going to go do a launch. You're going to go make money. You're going to do sales. You're going to go do your, your athletic thing. You're going to go connect with a loved one during it. But then especially after, because after is when the opposition usually happens. Ah, oh, I could have done better. I wasn't good enough. And that is the test. Was it me? No, it was each and every one of you. So we all chose to do that. No one forced you. No one made you. You chose, which is freaking awesome.